There's one villager, however, that has always escaped me. Everyone seems to have him except me, and I really want him, and his name is Raymond. This, if everything goes according to plan, is the story of how I got Raymond. I'm basically probably gonna run into a bunch of villagers that I'm just like, ah, oh, I love you, but you're not Raymond, so I gotta ignore you and leave. So I downed an energy drink. Oh my God, it's Marina. Oh God, I wanna be your friend too. Oh God, oh. Oh my God, it's Octavian. Uh, I'm just like going through the motions of this energy drink. Octavian. It's Octavian again. How? What are the odds? I wish I knew. That's very clever. Raymond? It's Octavian again! I swear to God! How does this keep fucking happening? Yes, Orville, I have Nook Miles tickets, for the love of Christ. Right now, here's Raymond. Nope, it's a mouse. Well, our first- Oh my God. What the fuck? Why get Raymond when I could just get the that fucking thing? Guys, it's a duck. He doesn't- he's got- it's the duck. We're leaving. Bamboo Island. It's got bamboo and Hornsby! <laughs> He's coming to me. He's like, don't worry. Don't even get off the pier. I got you. Is that Marshall again? Are you Marshall? Oh my god! Beginning of hour five. Oh my god. If I see Hornsby one more goddamn time, I swear to god. That dodo bird is never sad. Oh my god, it's Elise. <laughs> This is the most hated Animal Crossing character. All right, come on, come on, please, please, please. Oh, no, no. Besides Raymond, this is like my number one most wanted villager right now. He's gotta, he's gotta be here. He's gotta be here. He's gotta be here. We've gotta find him today. He's put me through so much stress. I, I, I wasn't joking. This is a, a motionless hour seven. Maybe hour eight, I'll just literally cry the whole time. How to get specific villagers. Procedure. Prepare an empty plot of land. Collect nook miles. Meet villagers on island. Repeat steps two and three and two to get the villager you want. Oh! Oh, that's what I've been do- Oh, no, wait. That's exactly what I've been doing all day. I'm realizing now. This is, this is what gambling is. I, I ran out of money, and I was like, I could just get more money and keep gambling. <laughs> We're not going to yell. Definitely not. I don't have it in me to yell right now. It is someone I've never seen before. Rhonda. Well, Rhonda, you ruined my night. Hello, and welcome to the beginning of the end. You certainly just saw some sort of montage of me failing the uh, cat from Animal Crossing has still, to this day, eluded me. Uh, I have tried since that fateful day when I got no sleep. Um, all failure, all around. Not one hint of success. Now, this is not news to anybody watching, but recently Animal Crossing got a few updates. It got a free one and a paid one. Paid one is great. I've been playing it a lot. Not what this video is about. And with this update came new amiibo cards. In addition to the 14 new Animal Crossing villagers added in this new free update, Nintendo also released amiibo cards for all of the, as they're calling them, VIP characters from this game, like CJ and Spike and all them. But in addition to those, they also released amiibo cards for the nine previously new Animal Crossing villagers. Animal Crossing New Horizons had nine new villagers not previously in New Leaf show up in this game. And because they weren't in New Leaf, they did not have amiibo cards until now. Now, I've talked about purchasing amiibo cards before. Famously, I talked about how I got very lucky when I found Zucker on a mystery island. Literally, I found out about this dude, uh, went to the internet to see how much his amiibo card was, and the internet told me $27, and I said, that is way too much money for a tiny piece of cardboard. And then I was just so happened to get him on my third island. Wasn't even really trying. Now, 
the Raymond card is $35. That is a not insignificant amount of money. If I bought Raymond's card, that would be the most money I have spent on a single Amiibo card to date. Now, I don't know what $35 is worth, but we're getting Raymond. This ends today. But who to get rid of? As I'm sure all of you know, the max number of villagers you can have on your island is 10, and that is currently the amount that I have, which means someone's gotta go. These seven are off limits, so don't even ask, which leaves Victoria, Eugene, and Tiffany. Victoria and Tiffany are similar in the fact that I bought their amiibo cards straight up. I saw these villagers, I really wanted them, so I bought them and now I have them. Eugene is different, however. Eugene is a character who was on Chris's island. Chris famously told a story about how he had a villager in his camp that wanted to kick out Eugene, so he let the villager kick out Eugene because he ordered Eugene's card uh, specifically so he could have Eugene back on his island and he could kick off a villager that he didn't like. So the only reason I have Eugene on my island is because Chris let me borrow Eugene's Amiibo card. I struggled for days to figure out who to get rid of, and then it was actually my mom who gave me a perfect idea. Since I care about all three of them pretty much equally, why don't I pick who to get rid of based on how cool their house is, which instantly ruled out Victoria as someone I would get rid of. Her House is literally the entire reason I wanted her. It's one of the coolest houses I've ever seen. And gun to my head, I didn't actually know what Tiffany or Eugene's houses looked like, so I took a peek, and Tiffany's house is some sort of night bar arcade situation. And Eugene's house is some sort of office building. And taking a cursory glance at what Raymond's house is going to look at, they have the same wallpaper. So if it's not obvious at this point, my choice is Eugene. It always kind of felt like Eugene was here on loan from Chris's island anyways, and now we can just go back there if there is a fiction to be built around these events. The end of my friendship with Eugene the koala, but the beginning of something so much greater. The next thing you're going to see is footage of me getting Raymond. Hello everybody, and welcome to this part of the video. So. Uh, we are going to be getting Raymond, and we are going to be using the Amiibo card. Uh, and as you know, that is a, uh, three-day process. So, welcome to day one. It's not gonna be three videos. This is the final Raymond video, the one you're watching now. But, um, oh, what's happening? Oh, I, I, I upgraded my storage all the way. It literally, uh, took the rest of my money. Um, yeah, so... The rest of this video is just going to be uh, me doing the damn thing. I uh, haven't recorded the first part of the video yet. Still haven't decided uh, who I'm going to replace. But I do have uh, t uh, three full days, including today. Here he comes. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, please. For the love of Christ, please. Hello, Raymond. You're giving me an exclusive invite to your campsite. Seems like all my self-promotion is paying off. A little adventure can be nice now and then. Okay, I'll do it. I'll head there ASAP. Yeah, that's right. That's what happens when you go online and purchase the Amiibo card. All right. Um, for those of you who haven't seen this process yet, uh, you gotta invite him, and then make him a thing, and then, Mary, god damn it, and then be like, in, live here? And then they're like, nah, ask again tomorrow, and then you have to do that two more times. And then you can kick out whoever you want. Hello, Raymond. A very boring tent. Thanks for putting me on the guest list. Now, where can a cat find some shortbread? Oh, god. They don't make you make recipes for them, do they? Uh, talking about camping. It was all the same stuff that every one of them says. 
Why don't you make me something River City themed? Something like some log steaks. Okay, so it is just going to be some bullshit. Uh, okay. Log steaks. What are log steaks? What do those look like? Oh, these? Yes. Three wood. Literally give this stupid cat whatever he wants. Yep, cool. I got 49 wood. Uh, where's the closest DIY bench? I guess it's the one at my house. My island's looking pretty much the same. I, you know, I upgraded my, uh, pool. The, the fountain, rather, to be the new fountain. Still got some Easter shit from the last time I played before the DLC launched. I was hoping because he's a new amiibo card, uh, specifically crafted for this game, that he would give me new recipes, new DIY recipes, um, because there's a lot of those. But, you know, whatever. If he wants log steaks, I'll give him log steaks. I am. Yep, here you go. Here it is. Finally, the River City Log Stakes of my dreams. It's not much, but please let me give you a little something. Here, enjoy a shawl and dress combo. Is that new? I don't think there's any new clothes in the game. You know, if I never came here, I wouldn't have met you and received any of your amazing creations. From now on, River City is the number one vacation spot, except... Do you want to live... Do you want to... Hold on. You'll a, you'll let me ask, right? You'll say no, but you'll let me ask. Islands chill. I get my chi unscrambled. My fung... Sh my fung all shwayed up. Uh, so why don't you? I've definitely thought about it, but I want to take things slow, get to know the island better first. Yeah, yeah. Absence makes my heart grow fonder. Nice. Okay, cool. So there's day one. I feel like there was something else I was going to do real quick just now. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. Red. Wrong. Uh, okay, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, I'm on bathing suit. Left, left, right, right, down, up, up, down. Forgot to do this last time. Sink. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome uh, back to day two. I shouldn't do an intro each time. It's the same video. Uh, this is day two. Uh, we're doing the Raymond thing. I'm already here at this part. Yesterday went perfectly, uh, so let's hope today is good, too. Hold on. Let me just do this part real quick. Cool. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to say anything yesterday because I don't want to jinx myself, but... Uh, I hope that this goes well, because sometimes they'll just give you, uh, sometimes they'll make you do DIYs that y you genuinely don't have, uh, the stuff for. I remember, I think it might have been Mary, the other cat that I wanted, who is currently in my village, that I, I had to wait four days for her, because she had needed me to make something that I, like, didn't have, uh, the stuff for. Oh, you know what? Now that I mention it, uh, I think that that interaction might have been uh, filmed. I think I, I think I uploaded that in one of the Animal Crossing videos. <laughs> Is he acting like he was kidnapped? Seems like ironwood cart. I can do that. I can do that. Cause here's the thing, right? Like if he needs some wood or something that I don't have, I can go get wood. It, it doesn't have to be like in my uh in my inventory right now i can go do some digging around animal crossing to find whatever i need but like if he rolled up and is like i need a gold throne then i'm boned because i can't can't do that ironwood low table ironwood cart yeah wood and iron nugget perfect got that unlock uh yes oh that's the last thing i was doing yes oh my god dude gave me eight acorns sorry just noticed that if you go to Harv's Island and you have Tortimer, uh, sometimes he'll just give you seasonal items. And yesterday he gave me a acorn, and I was like, oh, neat. And then today he, I thought he gave me a acorn, and I was like, okay, it's just an acorn a day. He gave me eight today. That's awesome. I'm starting to second-guess myself. If this isn't what he asked for, I, it seems like iron wood stuff is just iron <laughs> and wood. So uh, that was not intentional. Uh, so I can just make...
what he actually needs. Uh, fun fact that this Amiibo card is telling me. Uh, Raymond's name in French is Narciso. Also, uh, what I'm noticing is that the his Amiibo card, because it's one of the new ones, it doesn't have a rock, paper, scissor uh, preference. Because that's only for... Uh, I think that's only for Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, the rock, paper, scissor stuff. Um, oh, yay. A uh, head bandana. Good. Um, and you obviously can't use him in that game because uh, that game is old and this character is new. Uh, okay. Let me... Tell me... Yeah, so move here then. Your invitation makes me happy, but I don't think I'm ready for that type of commitment yet. I want to truly understand the deeper meaning of the name River City. Uh, I could just tell you, bro. It's a reference to River City Ransom, uh, which is the prequel series to River City Girls, which is what I know it from, which is like the greatest beat-em-up I've ever played, and it wouldn't exist if Scott Pilgrim vs. the World didn't exist. Uh, do you want to move here now? Uh, okay, well, that does it for this. Uh, see you in a couple seconds for day three, which is th the final day. Welcome to day three. Uh, I'm sure that... Uh, I think this made it into the first part of the video, the, the intro. But I have made the decision with a heavy heart uh, to get rid of Eugene. Uh, Eugene always, you know... Eugene sort of always felt like it was Chris's character anyways. Like, Eugene is on Chris's island. And the only reason I have Eugene is because Chris let me borrow Eugene's card. So I've always kind of felt like Eugene was just visiting anyways. Hello, Raymond. Uh, we're doing all this. Oh, no, please don't ask for food. Ironwood bed. Perfect. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. You wanted an ironwood. I didn't have the recipe to ironwood bed, apparently. That's very interesting. Thank you, Raymond. Oh my god, look at his little feet. Did you just see his fucking little paw pads? What the fuck? He's so cute. Okay, 20 wood is a lot of wood, but I should probably have it. So I need 20 wood and 10 iron. Ooh, I do have enough. Just barely. Cool, he gave me something I didn't have. Rarely does that happen, because I have a lot of stuff. And it wasn't a new thing. It was like it was like an old recipe that I hadn't uh, that I hadn't gotten yet. I am, I know. It was lightning fast. Everything you've made for me could be gold plated and given as an award. Thank you so much. I don't think the word thank you. The words thank you are enough to express my the depths of my gratitude. Perhaps this interpretive dance will do the trick? Oh, okay. No? Then please accept some cyber shades. <laughs> okay. Cool. You're leaving here? I don't know about that. I don't know about leaving here. Can you imagine if I lived here? Let's make it happen. Seriously? Well, I'm flattered. I guess we should go talk to resident services to see what we can do. Fuck yeah. Bad news, but yeah, 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 I know the bad news. Talk to resident service and the real estate sitch here is no bueno. There's actually no room left to build new houses. Can you believe it? How could such a thing happen? Don't worry, though. I'm nothing but a per I'm nothing if not a persistent cat. Talk about persistence. God damn, this whole series has been persistence are you all right with me negotiating with someone who already lives here for their spot fuck yes fuck christ yes holy shit i've been practicing legalese for a uh, part in volleyball lawyer attorney at play anyway oh my god andy's a celebrity actor unbelievable talk about synergy now just tell me who you want to boot of course you could also take a softer approach and talk to the residents who are looking to make a move Resident service give me a list of folks who might be am amenable. This is everyone in town. I don't know why. Yeah. All right, Eugene, your time is up. Eugene, huh? Are you sure? Yeah, I am. Actually, yes. 
leave it to me. I'll head right over to Eugene. I'm and I'm playing hardball. Is hardball a sport? I thought it was called baseball for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yep, I talked to Eugene and it turns out he was about to move anyways. He was not. So now <laughs> we can open up that artisanal cotton candy shop together. Wait, I might have been talking about that with someone else. I've made so many plans already. Start over. I'm Raymond. You're Kimberly, right? I can't wait to move in and get this soon-to-be legendary partnership going, Kimberly. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, yes, okay. Uh, and that's it, right? You talking about pepperoncini? Okay. Uh, now let's go. Uh, let's go say our goodbyes to Eugene. Ah, uh, this is a great time, and I was just looking for you, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm moving away from River City. I know Eugene. It was me who forced you to do that. Thank you for always being a friend. Oh no, I'll never forget the time we spent together here. Ah, okay, Eugene. I can't. Oh, bye. Okay. Uh, I feel sad, but the joy I'm going to feel from seeing Raymond in this plot is going to feel uh, way better. Hello world, hear the song that we're singing Come on, get happy A whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing We'll make you happy We had a dream, we'd go traveling together Spread a little love and then we'll keep moving on Something always happens whenever we're together We get a happy feeling when, when we're singing, singing a song Traveling along, there's a song that we're singing Come on, get happy A whole lot of love and it's what we'll be bringing We'll make you happy Thank you to everyone who's watched this video from the absolute bottom of my heart. If you want to watch this journey from the beginning, I don't suggest it, but if you do, links to those will be in the description below. I've been Thunder, one half of Thunder and Lightning Gaming, the channel you've been watching this video on. If you like this video, give it a like, make sure to subscribe, and if you feel so inclined, we do have a Twitch channel, you can subscribe to us over there, or if you just want to follow us over there, that'd be fine too. We stream every Wednesday and Sunday, 5 to 7. Links to all that will be in the description. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.